Hey everyone, it's Tiffany from Let's Get Scrappy and I have a quick um, show and tell, basically, a little sneak peek of what I'm going to be working with for Country Craft Creations Cookie Exchange Virtual Retreat, try to say that fast five times, um, that will be on November 30th through December 4th, so it's that Wednesday through Sunday. And I believe there's still openings. I will have the link below if there are. And with this retreat, um, it's going to be different than before. It is a lot of smaller projects. And when I say smaller, they're still not really small. But it's not full on like mini albums and large folios and all of that. It's true projects for gift giving for the holidays. So she usually does them later. Um, like after Christmas, this time we're doing it before Christmas because, you know, her members wanted to have it before Christmas so they had projects ready to go for gift giving time frame. So even if you don't celebrate the holidays, you don't have to with this. You can use these projects for anything. They could be used for gift giving. They could just be, you know, just to make. So you do not have to um, follow along with the papers um, you can choose your own papers if you choose to, but you're going to get a lot of tips. And this will only be for the virtual. So I'll do a show and tell of my finished project, but I will not do a tutorial that will be open to everybody. It will only be to those that join the virtual retreat for Country Craft Creations. So before I get into the collection that I have, I just want to go over a couple things that I also got in the kit to play with. So this really pretty lavender, um, kind of, I think it's a polka dot, maybe it's a check, I don't know. But a tone on tone print, so just so you can kind of see, it matches that stripe really well right there. I am loving this trim. And then there's a little bit of some pom-pom. We have some, this is so exciting, we have some <laughs> Velcro dots. Who could guess what I'm going to use these for? I would love to see what you guys think I'm actually going to make. Because I'm not going to tell you that. We're just going to do a walkthrough of what I'm working with. But I'm not going to show, obviously, not yet, what I'm going to make um, for this virtual retreat. So we have two straws. So I would love to see all your guys' guesses. And then the collection that I'm using, this is not the full collection that I have. And this will not necessarily be all the papers in your kit. Um, these are just the papers that I have to build the project. And the reason why I want to make sure everyone knows, because everyone might be thinking, well, geez, why would I want to spend that much money for a little bit of paper? Because there are 12 designers, plus Tamara, who is the owner of Country Craft Creations, plus a guest appearance of our amazing Sally, who has a project that will be um, in the kits too. That is like 13, 14 projects. So you're still getting a ton of stuff. You're gonna walk away with a lot of gift giving ideas and projects to do for the holiday season. So just wanna make sure everyone knows what I'm showing you is not necessarily everything that will be in the final kit, because um, I have to build the project first. So, but this is the collection I'm using. And I'm not sure that she has this in her shop yet. And if she doesn't, then, and when she does, I will link it below. But this is Heartfelt Creations. I want to say this is Holiday Star Collection. Ugh, I can't remember. But I think it's that. So, it is very kind of winter wonderland looking. But it is Christmas. So, it has all the beautiful blues and purples have that have all these little like cut aparts and you can use these um for elements to either journal in or to you know put pictures in but you know i don't know how i'm gonna use this yet i love this blue i do like this this color so um this is gonna be fun to use you have these um again more little cut aparts with the sentiments on there here is the back side of that. I love this up here. And this is fun to be able to cut out words and do sentiments everywhere. This collection is really pretty. I hope that the colors are coming across. I mean, this is a really purple, a really true purple here. So hopefully you guys can see that. 
and they do have lots of textures, lots of layers. This is a music note sheet with the greenery going around with the snowflakes above it. Did I show the back of this one? Yes. And then you have just more of a tonal side here with the lavender, another shade of that purple. And again, it's just a different um, music note look. It's more like with the white tones. And then again, a little sentiment here. And then you have this beautiful blue on the background with a tinge of purple. And this is fun, these cut apart sheets. This is like great for card makers and tags. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna, oh yeah, that'll be fun. But I'm not saying what I'm making yet. Okay, and you have that. I love these to use as cut apart and a beautiful blue. I love bright blues. I love bright colors, period, even though I wear black all the time for work. One, it's easy, it's slimming, and <laughs> I could just throw it on. <laughs> and no one knows if I wore the same thing twice. They have no clue. I can go from state to state. Nobody knows the difference. <laughs> and then there is this one, the six by six again, cut apart sheets. These are just so pretty. Oh my gosh, just sparkle them up. Especially using some glitter on this. And this is great just for you guys to see, you know, the new collection line here. It's so cute. Little tiny things. And then you have that. And then um, lastly is this like tickets and stamps. Tabs. That would be fun. Tags down here. You guys see, I'm looking at the paper, loving the paper, but I don't know if I'm in, in uh, what do you call it, in something, not in film, not in camera, on the, nope, I don't even know, in the screen, yep, it's not coming to me, it'll come as soon as I stop doing the video, but um, also you have like these shields, I don't know what that's technically called either, those pendants or shields, something like that but a lot of cut aparts to do some fun like just there's a lot of things to use as ephemera and then this really vibrant purple so pretty so this is the collection this is just a quick show and tell of what i received to work on my project so let me know what do you guys think i'm making so again i got some trims got my little straws I don't know why I want to use them as like chopsticks I got my straws there and for velcro what is Tiff going to create so just you know throwing that out there for you guys let me know what you think and if you haven't already please be sure to like this video and um, definitely subscribe so that way you could see future show-and-tell projects from country craft creations and then, of course, you're going to want to see the project that I actually make with this. But I will not post it until after the virtual retreat. But I will link everything below in the description box. So, again, if it's something you want to do, it is a lot of fun. This way you don't have to spend money on traveling. You could just do it from the comfort of your home. Or you can sign up with local friends and do your own little crop together as a group. Um, but it is a lot of fun. So, um, there's sometimes you know well not sometimes every time I've done one there's been games in between some fun lives that happen so you're still engaged we've had zoom uh, portions where all of us get on a zoom so you know there you guys go thank you so much for watching talk to you later bye